America came to America slave. When you read the Bible, you ask any Jewish story. Your Jewish story? Not a story. Okay, <laughs> right. Well, if you know history, you know the story. If you know something, you know, yeah. you could, you know. Okay, now, when you read the Bible, the Bible tells you that the destruction, when, remember when Moses went to Mount Sinai, right? When Moses went to Mount Sinai, Moses told the Jews that if they do not keep God's commandment, they got to go to slavery and the all nation. Can you show me one proof that I talk about these people right here? They, these people never went to slavery. These people, women, were not great. The Bible tells the Jews it's going to go to another Babylon, another Egypt with ship. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 20 and 60. Because remember, the most, right, thank you, they're Zionists. The Zionism is a creation of a new Jewish state called Israel. Okay? So now, when you read the Bible, I'm going to show you facts that these people that come to Jews are not Jews. Deuteronomy chapter 20 and verse 68. They're saying like the Hasidic Jews aren't the real. They're not Jews because the word Hasidic means pious. The, the Jews that was called said Hasidic were the black Jews that was in Germany. The word Hasidic means pious Jews. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you how these European call themselves Jews today. Um, my brother, give me that book inside there, right? The book I just brought. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 20 and verse 68. The original Israelites were their color. Right, good. And it's Hispanic also. They're black Israelites. That's the original people. Those are the original Jews that were Those are the original Jews that were in um, the Right? right? No, 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 no. That's not true. I'm going to show you. Let's go in the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 6 here. Because remember, the word Deuteronomy. Hold on. I, no, no, I know you want to. I know right. 12 tribes of the nation. Right. But these Hasidic Jews, if you want to say those aren't the real Jews. Those are not Jews. You know why I say that? Maybe those aren't the original Jews. No, 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 no. They're not Jews. Because remember, what do the word Jews come from? Palestine. No, no. The word Jews, not a couple of words, Palestine. The word Jews come from the word Judah. 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 I'm where Jews came from Judah. Remember, Jacob got 12 sons, right? The word Jews came from Judah, and the rest of them are, they came, are, are known as what? Benjamin. He's not a tribe, tribe, right? When Jacob was in Egypt, Jacob told you, give the charisma of the 12 tribe, right? About the, the, the charisma of Judah, Benjamin, and the Lord blessed this tribe right here with, with, with what? As the, the Bible said, Benjamin raised on the wolf, right? Levi's and Simeon go all the way down to, 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 to Ishkar, which are the Mexican. Now, we got to go to the Bible to, and I ask you a question. Where did these people that come to Jews fulfill his prophecy? Give me the Deuteronomy chapter 28, uh, verse 68. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with hold ships. On, hold on, sir. I'm sure. Sir. I'm, I'm not sure. Sir. Hold on. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. See? Wow. See? No. no, I'm listening. I really do have to go, though. All right, no problem. No problem. But we here, we here every Saturday, right? So, uh, every, every Saturday, Saturday we're here. Cool. All right? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so now, the Bible said, the Bible said, the Lord shall bring the Jew. Huh? I don't need to tell you anything. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Palestine? I'm a human. You what? Human. Uh, what do the word you mean? What do the word you mean? You say you're human. What do the word you mean? Human. No, no. The word you, H-U-E, what it means? Excuse? No, that's not what it means. What's the word? The word human mean, from the word you mean color, color men. The word human color. Color? Yes, color men. The word human color. What color are you? Color. What color are you? I don't know color. You don't know what color is? No, hold on. I'm asking you. Sir, let's say that. Let's start these cuss cuss kiss them. I'm asking what color are you? I'm colorblind. I'm See, what about you, miss? What color are you? You don't know. That's your husband? No, you know he's for teaching you, right? If he doesn't know nothing, you don't know nothing. She teaches me. Huh? She teaches me. Well, you should be ashamed of yourself. But you're, woman. you're supposed to teach your woman. Okay? Because the woman is, the man is over the woman. I'm asking you a question. Do you know your nationality? What country are you from? From the Middle East. Right. It's from the Middle East. Right. Exactly. Even I don't know, but I, 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 you're from the Middle East, though. I'm in America right now. All right, but you're from the Middle East. No, I'm asking you in America. Okay, but you're America. from the Middle East. Yeah, you can't outsmart me. You're from the Middle East, and you play, you're being a. I'm from right here. Huh? You're from right here. Well, then, then you're ignorant right here because everybody has a nationality. So you can play stupid all you want. This country is going to fall. And when it falls, it's pointing to the ones who are in the spirit of God that's on that sign, they're going to be delivered. It's going to fall. So you're laughing, you're making jokes and games, but in Washington, D.C., you're not joking and making games up there. See, now you got to walk because it's getting too heavy. The clown games is not working anymore. So you can be a clown all you want, but this is real. This is reality. And life is reality. 
I'm walking. People you know die. Walking. You can walk all you want. You can walk off a cliff. You can walk off a cliff. You're you're shameful. You can't teach a clown. See, that's a real that's a real clown right there, man. You can't teach your wife nothing, but they making fun. They make that's that's a, that's a real clown right there. You know what I'm saying? Let's go back to Saint John 101. Dummy. That's a real idiot. He's saying he's a human, but I asked him a simple question. What the word you mean? He doesn't know. Right. He said he's, he's saying, he would tell him something else. And a lot of times they, they know of us out here. They right. know of us, so they try to play dumb. Right. You know? Yep. He's saying from the middle of this. Uh, St. John 101. Come. Yeah. Okay. St. John, chapter 1, verse, verse 1. Mm -hmm. That which was from the beginning. Right. Which we have heard. Right. The Bible said that which from the beginning, which is Christ. That which we have heard. Read on. Which we have seen. Which we have seen because all the prophets seen the Christ and uh, the disciples. All of them seen Christ. Okay? So Christ have a flesh and is a human being like us. Okay? Read. Seen with our eyes. Seen with our eyes. Read on. Which we have looked upon. See? Which we have looked upon. What? Because the Christians are teaching that nobody seen Christ. But when you read the Bible, the disciples have seen Christ. The prophet has seen Christ in a vision. So what do you tell me? Christ doesn't exist. When you read the Bible, Christ, all the prophets, seen, uh, the, all the disciples seen the Holy Spirit, Christ. And when you read the Bible, Christ tells you you are not supposed to follow the philosophy of this world. When you read the Bible, okay? Read on. And our hand have handled right, uh -huh. the word of the word of life. Right, the word of life. Who's the word of life? Christ. Christ is the word of life when you read the Bible. So if you follow Christ, you are in the word of life. If you follow the life office of America, you are in the total darkness when you read the Bible. You have to follow Christ. You can't follow the life of America, man. You got to be confused. So if you follow God, what God said, then guess what? You got to lead to the right path when you read the Bible. You cannot follow the life of the world and tell me you love God. You go to church every Sunday, but yet you, you worship Christmas. Christmas is a pagan holiday. Easter is a pagan holiday. All these holidays in America are nothing but what? Go back to ancient Babylon. Easter, Christmas, all these stupidness you're following. You gotta find your father, you gotta find the way of instruction when you read the Bible, man. Okay? So in order to enter into life, you have to keep God's commandment when you read the Bible. Come, on, read. Pursue for the life was manifested. And we have seen it. The Bible said for the life. Which is Christ, what manifested, and we have seen it. Read on. And bear witness. And to bear witness. We want to walk through the word of God that Christ is real. Christ is real, man. You got people on TV telling you Christ is not real. But when you read the Bible, Christ was there from the beginning of time, man. He was the angel that was what? What that was given the that was given the blueprint by, by the heavenly father, known as God. And the, the work were what, what? Were the angels. So Christ was an angel that was there in the beginning when they read the Bible. Okay? Read. And show unto you that eternal life. Right. And the Bible says, and show unto you that eternal life. That eternal life is through Christ. Eternal life is through Christ, not to no one else. You cannot go through Christ to enter to the door without what? Without you cannot get into the house without going to the door. Christ said, I am the door. Right. Either enter you by the door must go to what? You have to enter the door to get to what? Into the house. If you try some other way, the Lord call you a thief and a robber right. when you read the Bible. Okay? So in order to enter the God, to go through the Father, you have to go to the Son. So if you reject Christ, guess what? The most High got rejected. Right. And a lot of you think you reject Christ because you're not following the lifestyle what Christ follows. It just... When you read the Bible, Christ, when the Roman was ruling, Christ didn't follow the lifestyle of the Romans. He said, my work is to keep God's law. Are you black and Hispanic? You need a modern day Rome. And that's why you, the Lord is plaguing you with, with chaos, man, in America. The Lord is plaguing you with chaos. You can't find all the way through. So in order to get to Christ, to the Father, you must keep God's commandment. And Christ gave the commandment to keep. You ain't keep the commandments. You follow what? America lifestyle. America don't believe in God. The white man money is gun, boys, and drugs. That's their money. That's all America is about. Money. And every day you see these things happening. Housing going up. Apartments. Everything chaos. A lot of you young girls and young men have been living with their parents forever. Because what? Because college ain't going to do a damn thing for you. The student loans, you got to be bankrupt by the time you can graduate from damn college, man. You got to find out that your education in America is going to be going out to the damn floor. 
Because when Donald Trump finished with his place, it's done with, man. It's done with. When you read the Bible, read. Which was with the Father mm -hmm. and was manifested unto us. See, that which was with the Father and was manifest unto us mean what? Christ manifest unto what? Unto the children of Israel. Give me jump, um, jump to verse 18. Uh, uh, jump to verse 8. eight. Right. Yeah. Verse 8. Right. If we say that we have no sin, right. we deceive ourselves. And the Lord said, if we have no sin, yes. Christ said, what? You deceive yourself. Because a lot of your church are saying that I don't sin. I go to church every Sunday. Go to church does not mean you're saved, man. What's going to save you is to what? It's to faith. Your faith is the one going to save you. It's going to bring eternal life. Not going to damn church every Sunday because the Lord is not dealing with us.